guys! Welcome back! Today I want to review a book that I read an early copy of. I had an ARC and it is definitely one of my favorite, if not my favorite, book that I have read so far this year. It is coming out in May and so I want to talk about it and convince all of you that you should go out and read it and order it because I'm really really excited about it. I loved everything about it. The book that I'm going to be talking about today is The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg. So The Kingdom is one of the smartest books that I have read in a long time and it's also a total page turner. I could not put it down. I started it one morning I thought, okay, I've got an arc, I'm just gonna read a few chapters. I was completely sucked in and read the entire thing in one day. Could not put it down. It's freaking amazing. So everybody should go out and buy it. I will put a picture here. You can be sure that a finished copy will definitely be going into my collection. They look stunning, but I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about why I think this book is so good and so smart and important this will not be a spoilery review, but I am going to get into some of the major themes of the book. And I will also talk about some content warnings because there are some that you may want to be aware of. It's funny too because I don't know that I would have necessarily picked up The Kingdom, except that I heard Daniel Clayton talking about it at the launch for The Everlasting Rose, the sequel to The Bells, and when she talked about it I thought, that sounds really good, let me look into that. So I requested it, I got approved, and guys, I mean, you see where we are. I'm doing a review of it because it was so good. The Kingdom is a light sci-fi thriller. If you're worried, if you're not super into sci-fi, don't worry, like the sci-fi elements are pretty low-key. You can handle this. It's basically set at a futuristic theme park that's kind of like Disneyland on steroids with sci-fi technology. It's very, very cool. I think so many people are gonna love this. It's set at this theme park, very similar to Disneyland, except like this really cool sci-fi futuristic version of it. And the main character whose perspective we're following for a lot of the book is a young woman who is kind of an android. She is a biological artificial intelligence hybrid who is one of seven princesses who exist to make people's happily ever afters come true in the theme park. It's a dual timeline narrative, so we get her perspective in the past, and then in the modern timeline there has been a murder, and this young woman is on trial for that murder. And so the question is not only did she commit the murder, but if she did, can she be convicted for it? Because she's artificial intelligence, so can she make a choice, or is it a glitch in her programming? So it's really interesting. One of the themes that it talks about is humanity, and what does it mean to be human, and what does it mean to make a choice? So that is one of the sort of thematic elements that gets played with. But also, it does some other really interesting, smart things. It gets into rape culture and toxic masculinity. Unsurprisingly, there are some really problematic things going on with these princesses and the way that they're handled, the way they are manipulated, the way they are treated. And so you can have some content warnings for some of that in terms of um, on the page sexual harassment, off the page sexual assault that you know is happening but you don't actually see it happening on the page. It also really gets into one, how we commodify beauty and that is really interesting, but also in an, a way that I thought was just absolutely brilliant, she gets into how we commodify diversity. And this was so interesting to me because these seven princesses were created to look like a diverse array of characters, and yet without any of the history or culture being brought along with it. It's sort of on the surface diversity for the sake of monetizing things for corporate purposes. There's even this really interesting line, I don't know if I'm going to get this exactly right, but one of but there's a reference to one of the princesses authentic Nigerian jewelry that was made in Taiwan. And like that I thought per perfectly encapsulated this thing of commodifying diversity. It's just, it's fascinating. It's so smart. She also really gets into the environment because it's in a future where we've really degraded the environment and so this theme park becomes an escape from that and a lot of species have died off and so it's a place where they're bringing back animals but with some sort of artificial changes and so it also gets into animal cruelty and what does it mean to be cruel to animals. So if you're at all sensitive to that there's definitely some kind of difficult to read scene of animal cruelty on the page, but I think it's really powerful and it parallels a lot of what's happening with the 
princesses as well. So there is more, but I will stop there. Hopefully I have intrigued you enough that you will go out and pick this up. I think it's a fascinating, really, really smart book, but it's also such a page turner. You won't want to put it down. I'm not going to spoil you on what happens or what the ending is or whatever, but it's so good. I also really hope that she writes more in this world. I'm pretty satisfied with the conclusion of the main character's story in this, but I would love to get novels or novellas in the perspectives of some of the other sister princesses. I think that would be fascinating and there's so much room to play in this world. So fingers crossed it's a big hit and we get more of it because I am a huge fan. So talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know if any of you guys have read this, if you're planning to read this, if you loved it as much as I did because clearly I am a huge fan and I am going to be interviewing the author at the end of May when the book launches. You guys will not be getting that interview probably until sometime in June because it's the week of BEA and BookCon so my life is going to be crazy but I'm really excited to get to sit down with her and chat about the kingdom because I love it. So go check it out. This is not sponsored. I just love it a lot so I thought I would make this video. If you guys like this video give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.